What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll be teaching you this Miss Marvel moving type graffiti effect. And given the fact that I'm not a multi-billion dollar Hollywood company, I will do it in a lot more of a scaled down way, as you can see. So I am here in my After Effects where I prepared a composition with a video of some dude walking down an alleyway, where we'll create this moving graffiti. And I've also found these two green screen videos, one of them of a guy doing some hand gestures and another green screen video of uh, some stupid Sansa dancing. And just keep in mind, you do not have to have green screen videos, but uh, I, th I thought it would be funny and I just had them laying around on my computer. But the first thing you want to do is track the camera of your clip. So you click your clip, and go over to your tracker and track camera. And just let that analyze the background. Once it's done analyzing, it will solve the camera and we should be ready. So what you will see now is all of these points that it has tracked. And this is basically stuff that you can create stuff to, stuff that you can create stuff to, I mean, stuff that you can link other stuff to. So it will be motion track. So maybe let's select these three points like so. Right click, create solid and camera like so. And as you can see right now, we're going to have this green square motion track and it's already being motion tracked pretty well. But let's say we want the moving graffiti. What you want to do is click your track solid, right click, pre-compose. Just hit OK. And we now have created this composition called track solid. And we want to go into that and in here, just delete this one Then right click your track solid one composition settings and do change it to 1920 by 1080 all good and let's maybe do the dancing sensor first so just drag that in here and let's just maybe go into effects and presets keying and choose the key light one two and just select the green background i'm just going to get it removed very nice let's say we wanted to have this cartoonish look like graffiti there is a effect called stylized cartoon and apply that and it will be a little bit more rough edges and stuff like that so go back into composition you will see that this sansa dude is now being tracked he's a little bit too small so we will have to transform him a little bit let's scale him up a lot maybe 400 and let's rotate him a little bit. Let's see rotation. And here you want to make the uh, lines line up. So you can see the perspective of the alley should match these lines. And I think it's looking kind of decent, maybe just something like this. And let's maybe change this C position so he comes a little closer. Just maybe change it to Oh, that's too much. Let's change it to 8,000 or something like that. Okay, so right now we will have this dancing sensor. Okay, but this does not quite look like a graffiti yet. So we basically just want to blend it a little bit better. So maybe let's turn down the opacity just slightest, like so. Let's change the blending mode to something like linear dodge, maybe no. Let's try soft line. And we already get a lot cooler, smoother blending mode. So you see all the stuff underneath coming through. And let's maybe just also create like a quick mask or something like that. Just to give some feather to the edges, I don't know. think something like this should do fine. There's our mask. Let's just give our mask a little bit of feather. Just so we get like something like that. It's maybe a little bit too much. very cool and that is basically the effect i want to show it as well just by having it uh, attached to a wall so i'm again gonna go into my camera tracker like so and i will find some good spots on the wall i think that's somewhere like here maybe 
would work this is perfect and again select your magas create solid like so and reason it's not solid in camera is because we already have a camera go into our solid my bad we have to pre-compose it first like so and then go into our solid and again change the composition settings like so and delete this one and let's get our other green screen dude in here so this guy will maybe be make a little bit harder to turn into a cartoon but again we're gonna use the cartoon actually first we're gonna use the one two the one two key light here just to remove the green and then let's use the cartoonize or the cartoon and instantly he looks like a cartoon let's maybe put a huge saturation on him just to turn up the saturation just a little bit and give him some more vibrant colors something like that yeah i'm fine for now so let's go in and get in position better so this is where he will be now we'll again scale him up a little bit and since the video is getting cut off i will make it look like he comes out the ground something like so i think something like this and then maybe i think something like that is almost perfect Just gotta play around here and make it look good. That is all I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm happy with that. I am again going to make him blend a little bit by turning down the opacity so some of the background gets let through. I'm going to change the blending mode to soft light. Maybe this be vibrant then maybe let's just uh, do a mask especially around the bottom he could use some good old feathering bottom here I want to get smooth right now gotta get it nice blended in something like that so it looks like it's faded take a look at the final product But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, as I said, it's a little bit scuffed compared to uh, what Disney did in the Miss Marvel, but uh, the principle is still there, right? And uh, this is the best I can do with my current setup. But anyways, if you learned something new, uh, if you just enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, comment and subscribe. But anyways, bye bye guys. Take care.